Hello, beautiful soul. How's it going today? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're in high spirits. Despite all the craziness that's going on in the world, you cannot let this affect you. If it affects you too much, take a break. Take a well-deserved break and recharge your batteries. Don't let all this dark stuff get to you, okay? Keep your light within. Keep, keep your power and do not get demoralized. <laughs> so basically, 20... Like, okay, so right now we're, uh, you know, going through in spirituality what's called the 2222 two, 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 two portal, let's say. So we're the second day, uh, sorry, we're the second month, the 22nd day of the second month of the year 2022. It's all twos. So if you actually add, okay, all these numbers, one after the other, you know, 2022, second month, and 22 it adds up to 12. What does 12 represent, right? Well, you have many different things. <laughs> you have like a number 12, my friends, represents completion. The number one inside of it represents unity. And the number two represents cooperation. So we're gonna find unity through cooperation during these difficult times. So what does 12 represent? Well, 12, you have what, 12 months in a year, you have what, 12 hours on the clock face, uh, then what else? Uh, 12 actually represents the pinnacle of power. And, um, and if you actually decide to go a little bit further, okay, and you actually add, you know, in numerology, you, you have 12, so then you add the, the last numbers to end up with only one number, right? So 1 plus 2 for the 12, then you end up with 3. What does 3 represent? Oh, yeah, balance. <laughs> it represents balance and actually represents the divine. Triangles. You see them with pyramids in Egypt. Uh... Just tri triangles in general represents stability and power and just divinity in general. So people are going to be more and more connected within. You're always going to find hidden meanings and numbers. We're entering, we're ushering slowly ourselves into the, the new age. Some Buddhists in the past called it the golden age. Some Christians may call it the apocalypse and heaven coming down to earth. People in astrology will say that we're, you know, we're now entering the age of Aquarius. A very, very special time in our history. Apparently, I'm not too sure if that's true, but apparently Pluto comes in every approximately 200 and 50 years, 249 years or whatever. And after it completes a cycle, anyways, it's like a, it's like a new era, kind of. So there's always these cycles in human history that we'll find. And uh, anyways, apparently last time we actually had Pluto in the same position as now was in the year 70. Uh, 1776 for those who know American history that was a pretty big day so <clears throat> what does this portal signifies right the 222 portal because all the twos are there everything is in alignment we're the year 2022 there's so many hidden meanings so many hidden signs behind numbers because like the universe the universe will try to send you messages if you're attentive enough through numbers. That's the universal language. So what does this new, the 222 portal signifies, right? It signifies the entering of the new age of love, prosperity, and connectedness with people. And that's what people will call 5D. It's the spirit of love, embodying that spirit of love, embodying that new mindset. It's 
we're entering the new era where the old era of control, division, violence, deceit is slowly, slowly dissipating away as the lift of reality is slowly starting to lift up. We're starting to see everybody's true colors. We know now, thanks to COVID, despite all the negatives that happen, it lift up the veil. And now we see everybody's true colors. And now we, you know, we see what people stand for, right? What they truly dear down to their hearts. So anyways, so it's the destroying of the old and the ushering in of the new. And we're done with all this violence, all this fear and everything. A lot of power structures like to keep these methods because it's connected to control. It's easy to con control people through fear. So if you keep embodying that love, keep embodying that, that positive spirit and not let yourself get affected too much. I mean, you can't fully ignore everything that's happening in the world. And it's good that some people are speaking up on, you know, on some bad things that are happening in the world. And I think that's important too, right? Dark, like light has to be shed through dark corners, <laughs> right? So anyways, yeah, we're in this new age. It's going to be great. Just people have to realize this spirit of unity and everything. I know I've personally felt it when I went in Ottawa many weeks ago. And um, I'm going to have a video on Ottawa uh, tomorrow talking a little bit about everything that's been going on. Not trying to focus too much on neg negatives though, even though there's a lot of negatives. Um, so yeah, I'm going to give my perspective on this tomorrow. But um, yeah, two, two, two portals, guys. Okay, it's time to destroy the old structures. It's time to embody the new, embody love, and it's time to go towards your own greatness, towards your own goals, towards your own future, okay? And you take the reins of your life. This new era is all about love, freedom, and empowerment. Empower yourself. You're not just... Oh, little me. No, 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 no. You're an infinite spiritual being having a temporary human experience here on earth, temporarily. It's only an experience here, okay? So enjoy it. You don't want all your, your memories when you leave this place, right? To be all doom and gloom and all negatives, even though the world will try to push this feeling sometimes upon you. So anyways, it's great. New portal, new beginnings. It's going to be the era of truth, the era of truth, love, unity, and just understanding the more we advance to the future the more of that veil is going to be lifted 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 and you're going to start to see everything clearer and you're going to have your own vision for your own future fully replenished. Always keep that spark inside of you. And let the new portal of 2022 be one of the defining moments where you decide to change your life for the better. And that you keep these connections with people despite differences of opinion and through understanding love and non-judgment i think that's one of the most important because we're all different so anyways 
I wish you guys a happy 2022 day and year. <laughs> and stay blessed, my friends. Keep that love inside of you, okay? Don't let anybody bring you down, okay? I let myself, you know, with all this negative stuff, get to me a little bit lately. Brought back my, you know, recharged back my batteries, centered myself a little bit. Anyways, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Have a gorgeous day. You are blessed. You are loved. And keep, keep shining, my friends, because you are the star. You are the brightness that can illuminate the world around you. Spray these, these rays of sunshine around you. And the darkness will dissipate slowly but surely. And at some point, we're going to all come to the, get the, to the table together and give all of ourselves a big, big hug. A big, big hug. And that we agree to disagree. That's going to be the new era for, for, for us, I think. And that's if you decide to step into 5D, if you decide to step into that love consciousness, and if you decide to, to keep your power, to keep that, that magnificent thing that is your soul alive and well. <laughs> Stay blessed, my friends. Much love.